Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden project. So today I am working on this half of the garden, which is, as you can see by the window boxes, sorely neglected. I've been working so much on, sorry, I could feel an ant on my arm. So much on the garden over in front of the shed this year with putting in the raised beds and everything that this half, the more established half of the garden, has really just been kind of left to its own devices, which has been fine for 90% of the season. With all of the heat, heat, heat in June, July, August, things have uh, gotten to the point where they need a little TLC, they need cut back, they need fertilized, and then hopefully in our season, we have such a long growing season, um, they will come back for us um, in the next couple weeks through October and November. If not, you know, the things that will die back and come back next year, We'll see you next year. So sometimes the heat of the summer down here just does us in if we are not giving 110% effort and that's, you can't give 110% effort to everything. So you gotta pick and choose and I picked staying cool. So we're just cutting things back. We are pulling weeds. We are working on all the things that this half of the garden needs. I already started a little bit because I walked down here to see what needed done and just started working. So let's pop over to where I started. All right, so I just kind of got back in here and started cutting. I cut back all the petunias, the mums, a bunch of zinnias, and then back in here, you can still see a whole bunch of weeds I need to pull out. So, you know, not even close to finished. All right, y'all, we're back behind the garden. We were working right over here, and now we are back behind in the walkway. So I wanted to show you these. So these weeds, let me see here, if I can find a small one, are really bad. They've only started coming up the last couple years, but you see all those little dots underneath the leaves? Those are all seeds. So when you pull them out of the ground, if you like take them up and then you like shake the dirt off, you will drop all those seeds down into the dirt. So you see these big tall ones here? You want to take them out at the root, lift them straight up and then put them in a bag or in a bucket because all of those seeds will become new weeds. This bucket is way too small, but we're gonna make it work and we are going to get them out of here because it is what it is. So, straight up in the bucket. Now, this tall one, I'm gonna go ahead and bend over. Ugh. Make sure all this, the seeds stay in the bucket and then we will take it far away into the woods to dump so that it does not infect this whole area when we walk over there. We still have plenty up in the garden. Ooh, what is up with that? To take care of. We'll keep working on it, but for right now, we're gonna try to get these done. And then if you look up in here, there are a lot more of them around this crepe myrtle. So let's get to it. So we cleaned out everything in the back, got all of those bad weeds here, and we got two of the three window boxes. But what I learned last year, what I wanted to teach you now, is that when you're cleaning out old brush like this, you always need to be extra careful because, I gotta find it just a second. I came over here to double check, there we go. And right here, 
You see them? There's a wasp nest right there with a nasty wasp on it or a hornet or something. I think it's a wasp. Typically that's the kind of house they build. And they like to build plants, not plants. They like to build their houses, their nests, not just on your house or siding or metal, but really anywhere in the garden. I got stung pretty bad by one when I was uh, cutting back some plants last year. It had pelt its house right on one of my Laura Headlum bushes these tall bushes here. And so we're going to leave him alone for now. I will come out at dusk, spray him, kill him. I do try to leave them alone if they are in areas where they are not going to hurt me or hurt any of my guests. But obviously on part of my plant is not a good spot for him. So he will have to go and then we will cut them back after he's gone. So for today, I am not going to worry about him in this video. We will leave him alone and I'll come back when it's dark to take care of him and cut that plant back. These are on the struggle bus. We're going to cut them back. So they are still green. They are still blooming. If they push new growth, we will let them live. If they do not push new growth and they are dead for the summer with the heat, then we will replace them with mums for fall and winter. And let's hope those come back. So they're really pretty. Not I'll plant them out in the yard and they'll probably come back next year because Supertunias in our zone do typically come back for us. But they do better in the ground. You can see we cut back all our supertunias. Got new growth coming up on the April night salvia and some of our cone flowers. Got out all the weeds that we could. <laughs> cut back some of the roses. All the petunias here, as well as the mums. And mainly got all those bad weeds back out of there. Ooh, cut back all the zinnias. Move my little hummingbird guy down here. I love him there. He, uh, he bobbles in the wind and whoosh, don't get dizzy. Cut back these super tunias and the zinnias down by the oak leaf hydrangea. So that was exciting. Found a wasp nest, found all those bad weeds we had to get rid of and cut everything back. So hopefully things will rebound, start doing better as the cooler days come ahead. And like I said, it is August. So some things like these super tunias, I typically replace these white super tunias with white mums every fall. They still had a lot of green on them this year. So if they survive, I'll probably just leave them. They're beautiful. If they don't come back with more green, I will put, take them out, pop them somewhere in the garden, see if they come back next year. They often do in our zone and put mums there. I can't believe it's mom time. Our local nursery just got in a whole shipment. So your girl's gonna have to get some sooner or later, but we've got plenty more fall projects to do. I need to do some pruning on the crepe myrtles. I need to uh, take care of that wisteria vine that has gone nuts with all the heat. It is growing, mosquito, up the tree on its own, but there are several vines. I don't know if you could see right down here, there's a long one. Um, that are growing along the ground that need help going up the vine. So ants, it's time to go inside. The bugs are out and I am done. So we go inside and I will see y'all in all those projects next week. Bye.